bacteriophages are viruses that specifically infect bacteria. They are broadly classified into two types, productive and temperate. A productive phage can reproduce only through destruction of the host in what is known as the lytic cycle, whereby the phage hijacks host machinery before releasing accumulated virions through lysis. A temperate phage, on the other hand, can additionally reproduce through the lysogenic cycle, where it is expressed as a prophage in a symbiotic heritable coexistence with the host. While it did not put the idea of lysogeny on the table, a monumental development came in the form of temperate phage lambda, upon its discovery by Esther Lederberg and her husband, reported in their 1953 paper, Genetic Studies of Lysogenicity in E. coli, Lambda rapidly became the experimental model organism to elucidate many of the most pressing questions in genetics. The Lederbergs essentially stumbled across the phage when incubating a UV-treated mutant substrain with parental E. coli K12 in an unrelated experiment. Due to the presence of plaques, they surmised original K12 was lysogenic for bacteriophage, which they named Lambda, while the mutant culture had lost the prophage and become sensitive, serving as an indicator. With their interest in lysogeny provoked, the Lederbergs began investigation of Lambda's inheritance pattern and how symbiotic lysogeny might be established. Working under the hypothesis that Lambda would behave as a cytoplasmic factor like the P1 phage, they isolated a number of substrains differing in lysogenic phenotypes using their revolutionary replica plating technique. This revealed lysogenic colonies surrounded by a zone of lysis, while sensitive and immune phenotypes grew normally. Crosses were subsequently conducted among phenotypes to determine which nuclear or cytoplasmic factors were responsible for the lysogeny of Lambda. Crosses between bacteria are a form of sexual reproduction known as conjugation. This is the fusion of two compatible bacterial cells and the unidirectional linear transfer of DNA from donor to recipient strains during a replication event similar to a ball of yarn unravelling. Because donor and recipient strains are homologous, a double crossover event may take place that integrates part of the donor chromosome into the recipient, thus resulting in recombinant progeny. The detection of these recombinants was done using oxytroph strains that are unable to synthesise different nutritional markers. Plating or minimal media lacking these nutrients has the effect of a sieve for recombinant progeny where nutritional deficiencies have been eliminated, named prototrophs. As such, intercrosses between phenotypes revealed only the parental strains, illustrating the segregation of lysogenicity in the offspring. This did not support the Lederberg's anticipation of the independent segregation of the phage cytoplasmically and any genetic locus determining lysogeny, designated LP1. As such, they began to entertain the possibility of a primarily chromosomal determination of Lambda's inheritance. This was supported by the results of several recombination mapping tests in which donor and recipient strains had complementary genotypes for unselected markers. For example, a mannitol oxytrophic donor strain, positive for galactose fermentation and sensitive to lambda, was crossed with a threonine and leucine oxytrophic recipient strain, negative for galactose fermentation and lysogenic for lambda. By selecting for the prototrophs of the markers, the position of one of the crossovers in the recombination event is known, while the location of the second is variable. By mapping the frequency of different crossover positions, they found that the recombinants with the opposite allelic combination to the parents, in this example gal-minusin sensitive or gal-positive and lysogenic, was almost insignificant compared to the parental combinations. As the chance of a recombination event between the two loci becomes more unlikely the closer the two are on the chromosome, a close linkage of lysogenicity to the gal gene was concluded. Although initially opposed to the notion, these findings, along with the observation of gal co-segregation from diploid and haploid crosses, led to the interpretation that the prophage itself, or some associated gene, occupied a definite position on the chromosome close to gal, and that lysogenicity resulted from its attachment or integration. Not only did these experimental findings lay the groundwork for the theory of prophage insertion by site-specific recombination, Lambda was one of the first biological entities to have its gene genome mapped in detail. Hence it became the source of critical discoveries in transcriptional regulation and recombination, such as the early phage transcripts N and CRO as anti-terminators and operon inhibitors, as well as the genetic circuit of C1 and Q in differential gene expression during lysogenicity and lysis. Additionally, further work by Lederberg, based on the linkage studies performed in this paper, led to the discovery of specialised transduction, a key form of bacterial sexual reproduction, through observation of defective gal transducing phages that could only be understood through phage integration and aberrant excision, resulting in the uptake of adjacent host DNA. Although it has now been almost 70 years since Esther Lederberg discovered bacteriophage lambda, complete understanding of its life cycle is still not known. Through experimental observation of Lambda, we have learned so much about biology more generally, and yet it still has so much more to illuminate in the future.